Hey guys, my name is Els Marshall and welcome back to Hey Guys. The first story we're going to be talking about is Logan Paul. He's in the news again, but it's like a bit stupid, yeah? But basically what Logan Paul did, you know, he had, he had a tent on top of a bus. On top of a bus, he had a tent on top of a bus. I was riding it. Yeah, no, great health and safety, you know, you know, great example to the kids. And I was like, I just want to be like you, man. And obviously he had the bus on five individual parking spaces, yeah. Obviously, you know, the sheriff was like, nah, 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 but I'm not having that. You know what, like, nah, but there's do this, Logan. Logan Paul then got questioned by the sheriff. The sheriff was pretty like, why are you just being so stupid? Do you know this is dangerous? He was like, nah, it's all my responsibility. It's calm. They let him go because he said it's his birthday, yeah? Next time I'm getting in trouble, yeah, please come up to me, man, say it's my birthday, and they let me go. I'm gonna use that, trust me. Next time I'm in trouble with police, actually, I don't get in trouble with police, just to get that straight, but you know what? Fix up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Two in the news, bro. Yeah, just focus on your boxing match with KSI. Get training, yeah? Another one. Basically, Conor McGregor has been arrested in New York. Yes, you heard me right, he's been arrested. So what he did, he went to uh, you know, the UFC press conference, he was like, you know what, man's gonna go with 30 of my guys, yeah? Run up in there and go and dash stuff at the tour bus. Conor McGregor dashed a trolley, yeah? A trolley dashed it into the tour bus and the window smashed. And some fighters are actually hurt. Like, there's a few fighters actually could not fight on Saturday because of this. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even think he's gonna come back to the UFC after this. He might do, he might not. Dana White saying, you know, Doing business with him right now, it's not the best. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best court day is today. So we're gonna have to see what happens to Vega and what charges he actually gets. So I'm like Marshall here in the streets. And we're gonna see what people think about McGregor and how his title got stripped. Let's do this. McGregor, Conor McGregor, what do you think about his, his title being stripped? You can get rid of it if he wants, if he wants to keep him, he needs to fight. There's no one black him. He was gonna make the winner of this fight. Mm. The champion. I thought that would probably be good for him. But he never technically said that he was going to strip fight. Like runs off of uh, like the kind of hype around him and like that's just going to generate more hype for him. You don't like him? No. Why? I like Anthony Joshua. Yeah, he, he is though because there's only one champion though. The one thing you got to know about the UFC is mm. they do what they want, when they want. That's very true. Yeah, no. Oh man, oh man left. If McGregor and Mayweather did a fight in the, U in the UFC, who do you think will win? As far as I know McGregor, he's not Alright, listen, other way around. Oh shit, sorry. McGregor? He's a chicken, Mayweather, he's a chicken. He's a chicken. 50 and always a chicken, yeah, you make a lot of sense. McGregor? He always runs. He just does run. I think it would be McGregor. McGregor? Yeah. And what? Because that's his that's his domain kind of thing. You can beat Conor McGregor? Yeah. McGregor? Yeah. And, and the MMA, yes, and boxing, uh, Mayweather, everything. Uh, how we beat him? With some mid techniques. Yeah, no, you're waffling. If like Conor McGregor came out right now, how would you react? I'd such a say, what's the crack, man? What's the what? What's the crack? What's the crack? I say, dude, you're the man. You're the best. You you are it. Yeah. What do you mean, what's the crack? Oh, he 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 would understand them. Oh yeah. Oh, Irish. He's here. He's here. Look, 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 look. Nah, I'm joking. Don't get uh... gas. <laughs> So Skepta has just been made chief in his family's hometown in Nigeria. So technically, I apologize if I say this wrong, Skepta's new title is Amoludon of Ada Eje. So Skepta went with his family to collect his award in his hometown. I'm gonna say Skepta, legend, yeah? He's done everything and like, this is just like, top everything off for real, like. Skepta said this is a great honor and a great achievement to his career. Thank you for Baal, Chiefs of Adu Eje, King for presenting with my Chief and title today. I am honored and will continue to put time and love into Nigeria, especially the community of Adu Eje. Skepta has been in the music scene for so long, but now he's getting recognized more outside, you know, the music scene. We saw Skepta in the cover of a magazine with Naomi Campbell. But while Skepta was out there in Lagos, he actually performed a show. It was nuts, yeah? I don't know, it's pretty better when you perform at the Brit Awards, I ain't gonna lie to you, but. So us at MTV here, we were Skepta, all the best for his new job in Nigeria. Next. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of Hey Guys. My name is Vin Els Marshall. Make sure you check out my social media at Els Marshall One. Make sure you check out at MTV UK. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.